Good morning. Today, Charles is going to hopefully start on a project that we've been putting off for many months, and that is getting the solar panels up on top of the Bigfoot. We've been waiting for a day that is above 70 degrees Fahrenheit to safely attach the adhesive for the brackets. So today is not going to be that warm, but today we have some rain coming and he's planning to get the rooftop all washed off so he can put up the panels tomorrow. Let's get you out of the rain, shall we? Good afternoon. It is finally time to put the solar panels on the roof of the Bigfoot. How are you going to do it? With some brackets and some VHB tape. And what's your biggest anticipated challenge? Getting everything fit down on a curved roof to where it's all flat and the tape is well adhered in every position. This project would take several days of nice weather and a lot of hard work, but the first step would be to bring a solar panel on the roof so Charles could mark off where to put the brackets. Those seem pretty flat. Hello, Charles. Can you tell us about what you're doing there? Hmm. Well, a lot of people use this VHB tape to stick mounts to the roof of fiberglass trailers. And it's... You have to stop for a second while you're talking. To my knowledge, there's never been a documented case of them flying off. But I'm using residential size solar panels, 60 cell solar panels. And I'm already putting half again as many mounts on as it's, they call for. But and I've got one stuck on the roof already, and it, it's solid. But I want to take the extra precaution of making um, larger surface area L brackets. I'm going to bend these, put VHB tape on a large portion on two of them, stuck down with a hole through the middle, and I'll put a bolt or a cable or something through two of the solar panels. There's my brackets. I'll coat this entire bottom with VHB tape and stick it between two modules and then I'll either put a bolt in it or a cable or something to be a backup in case they pull loose on any other mounts. But that's a lot of surface area. Not likely that's going to pull up. Charles said it was a little bit tricky drilling the hole through the bracket with everything already on the roof. But here's the finished product. Okay. 
and these smaller brackets are the ones that originally came with the kit. I bought brackets from a company called AM Solar and I chose those because they're stuck down with they can be attached with VHB tape only with no screws and no penetrations going through the roof which is what I wanted and they are also adjustable and uh, fairly easy to install These are adjustable. Can you explain how that works? There's little holes in here to adjust the height. The middle ones I'm putting in the lowest hole and the outboard ones I'm putting in the highest hole to make them as level as possible. Because the trailer roof is sloped? Yes. Watts of solar on the roof. Woohoo! And tomorrow it will be plugged in. In my rush to get the panels on the roof, I forgot to put the die core sealant around each of the mounts. And the the die core, it's a self-leveling sealant that goes around each of the mounts to keep the sun from hitting the VHB tape below. So I've got to do that, lift each side of the panel in the morning, put the die core around it, put it back down, and then go do the other side. But I've got to put it around all the mounts. It's a whole lot easier to do it before than it is to go back afterward, the fact. Well, it looks like we're ready to go on our next trip and we'll be able to take our solar panels with us this time. We want to encourage you to do your own careful research if you're planning to put solar panels on your RV. And if you're interested in the rest of our solar system, we did do a video on that last year, so I will link to that here. Thanks for watching.